about one minute before the Tesla foil fires. So fire three times, as I said, each time it's charging one and a half million volts of electricity. If you haven't heard it yet today, every time it fires, it's quite loud. So if you have sensitive hearing, or loud noises uh, bother you, you might cover your ears while it fires. Now, when this countdown timer ends, there's going to be a short pause. It's a 20 second video that follows it. But you're going to see a big 5 second countdown timer to actually firing that coil the first time. You'll know when to get ready. Are they charging it right now? The first of our three firing to the test the coil. I'll fire the Tesla coil for you. We'll fire it the longest the last time we do. Now, while we fire it again, I want to talk a little bit about what it's doing up there and the guy who invented it. Nikola Tesla, as you heard, is the man who invented this coil. Now, who's heard of Tesla before? Who's heard of Tesla? Any? Well, yeah, so yeah. How have you heard of Tesla? Yeah. Someone over here. What do you know about Tesla? Have you heard about Tesla anywhere in particular? Cars! Cars? For one example, cars, yes. Tesla Motors, very big important company now. But although Tesla didn't start that car company, it is named after him. And um, what type of cars are Tesla's cars? Electric. Many answers to this question. Expensive, self-driving, but electric is the answer we're going for here. They are electric motor cars. Now they're named after Tesla because Tesla was a pioneering inventor in electricity. So Tesla himself was born, you know, over 150 years ago. And he was growing up in a world where almost no one had access to electricity, especially in their homes. And so as an inventor, one of his goals was to come up with a system that would transmit electricity across the country to people's homes. And his first invention that achieved this was something called alternating current, which you can send through wires. That's AC, which you might be familiar with because we all use it every day here in this country. Every time you plug in your phones or your cameras, or even your Tesla motor's car, if you're lucky, it's alternating current that is providing your power, like Tesla had designed it well over 100 years ago. Now, his vision was bigger than the wires. He wanted wireless electricity that you could you know, access with antennas on top of the airplanes, like sent through the atmosphere. It's a wild dream, and his first step towards that was inventing this Tesla coil that you just heard. Now, he demonstrated this new invention of his at the Chicago's World Fair in 1893, and he did it just down the street. But I want to recreate his demonstration with a volunteer who I need to come up on the stage right here. So, who wants to come up? Yeah, come on up. All right, you can be our volunteer. What's your name? Kayla. Okay, Kayla, go up on stage. Now, Kayla, I'm going to give you this to hold on to. It's a light bulb. You're going to hold it up high above your head. Just like that. So, stand up on the stage. It's a fluorescent light bulb, which, by the way, Tesla also had a hand in inventing. Now, if wireless electricity reaches that light bulb, what should happen to it? Yes, it should light up. Now, we're going to see if that happens. So, are you ready? Okay, good, good, great. That was great. It's only one and a half million volts of electricity. Nothing special. So. All right, we're going to count down from three, and look at the light bulb this time. Three, two, one. Excellent, excellent. 
Thank you, Kayla. You're a round of applause. Woo! Very good. So what did you see the light bulb do? Flicker. Yeah, it did. It lit up. But you may notice, even though this successfully demonstrated that wireless electricity can be transmitted, we don't have these on every street corner. We don't use these to transmit wireless electricity today. There's a few reasons for that. But one, how well did that light bulb light up? Not well. No, not very well at all. It was dim. It was flickery. And who remembers how many volts of electricity I said are discharged up there? One and a half million. Exactly. One and a half million volts of electricity. It's an awful lot. And it takes you know single digits of voltage to light a light bulb like that. We can light hundreds of them from a single outlet in our homes. But a wire could bring all of that electricity down here. The air is a great insulator, and so it keeps almost all of that energy way up there in those grounding rings. It doesn't want to travel all the way down here to us. And Tesla could never really overcome this problem. His invention was actually a failure at what he thought it could do. He could never transmit electricity the way that he wanted. But that wasn't the end of the story for this invention. Even though it failed completely to do what Tesla thought it would, it still inspired other inventors and engineers to come up with a whole bunch of wireless technologies because there are these invisible electromagnetic waves that carry that energy down here to that light bulb. And those are the same electromagnetic waves that we use for all of our wireless communications today. So if you've got something that's wireless, what's, what's it? one type of wireless technology? Exactly, those cell phones, yeah, both the cell phone signal, the Bluetooth inside of it, you know, maybe your radios, all of these are powered by electromagnetic waves that Tesla successfully investigated with this failure of an invention. So this is the foundational point, this is the starting point for all the other developments in wireless communications came from. So, your successes and your failures are both going to be important for inspiring other inventors. Keep that in mind. If you are working as a project yourself and it's not working out the way you think it will, even failures are important for progress. So, I'm going to fire that great big failure of Tesla's one last time, as long as I can. But, I invite anyone to come up on the stage and get right underneath it. Get some photos or video if anyone wants to come up here. Come on, come up. Come on up. Come on up. I'll give you a few seconds. Yeah, you want to come back on stage? Come on up. So, I'll fire it. One last time. Can I come up on again? Now. Yes, absolutely. Come on up. All I ask is that you help me count down from five. So, do it nice and loud. Here we do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Thank you all very much.